Today I wanted to show some creative ways to use Ninza indicators basically by picking a trend indicator for entries and using a reversal indicator for exits. Uh, right now I have the Super Trend Pro indicator loaded and I also have the Heiken Ashi RSI blend indicator loaded uh, as a reversal indicator. So just with these two indicators alone we can already see some good entries uh, this is pre-market on September 8th, Thursday. Uh, this is a NASDAQ 30-second chart. Uh, right here we get a super trend entry at 274. Um, we've got some downward momentum in the RSI Heike Neshi blend. The candles are red here. Seems like a good spot to get in long at 274. The trend continues down nicely. Uh, 244, that's 30 points right there, just in about 20 minutes during the pre-market. Another way I use this indicator is if price is in a downtrend and then we come back up close to the Super Trend Pro stop line, this red line right here, I'll keep an eye on the Heiken Ashi RSI and if we get a red candle on the Heiken Ashi RSI blend I might re-enter. Uh, so right there we could have re-entered another short. Also when price came up here close to the super trend stop line I'd be keeping an eye on the Heiken Ashi RSI. Right now it was trending up in green but as soon as it prints a red candle right there that would be a possible short re-entry to continue the downward trend. And here we start to see some chop and I'd like to show you a uh, couple of different creative ways I use the super trend indicator to kind of get rid of choppy times in the market. So I'm going to show you a different chart layout here. This is the same 30 second chart up here and the same 30 second Heiken Ashi RSI. But what I've done is I've loaded a two minute NASDAQ chart and also a five minute NASDAQ chart and I've applied the super trend indicator to both of those. So now we have a better idea of trends on a higher time frame that might keep us out of some of this chop. So here we are still in pre-market, almost 8.30, and we get a super trend signal to the downside. And this time it's in alignment with the higher time frames. It's in alignment with the two minute and the five minute that are both bearish. Uh, we also have these red Heiken Ashi RSI candles printing so that would be a good spot to get in at 250. Uh, put your stop above this red line and it dropped down about 50 points right there. Our two higher time frames are still bearish so we would probably want to wait on more confirmation before getting in on this 30 second time frame super trend. Uh, then you can see again a little bit before 9, we get another super trend signal on the 32nd. We still have downtrend on the 2 minute and the 5 minute. That would be another acceptable entry. Uh, 205, drop down over 20 points right there. And now it's a little bit after 9 o'clock, and we still have a downtrend on the higher time frames that is keeping us out of these little blips on the 32nd chart. Here's the New York Open at 9.30. Uh, we're right against this super trend line. Everything's looking bearish. Uh, it would be possible to take a very low risk trade right there uh, around 175 and keep your stop super close at 180 right above this red super trend stop line. It did move down on the market open 50 points. And then we see the super trend on the 30 second turn bullish but the two higher time frames are still bearish, so kind of just waiting to see what happens a little bit at the market open. Uh, we've got our RSI Heiken Ashi moving up pretty strong, and when this two minute changes to a bullish trend, right on this candle we have another super trend on the 30 second. That would be a good spot to get in around 190, and that moved up about 70 points or so. Uh, you can also see we get a Heiken Ashi RSI reversal signal on the 5 minute pointing up. 
that would be another reason to stay in this trade a little bit longer. Didn't really see any reason to exit until we got to these highs. You can see the RSI is pretty much at the exact same height it was back here when price was a lot lower. So not necessarily divergence, but it might show that the trend was uh, weakening a little bit. And then we start to get some red Heike and Ashley candles that are falling out below this overbought area on the RSI, this pink region. And shortly after, there is a 30 second super trend short. Uh, we still have the uptrend on the higher time frames, so I might be a little cautious there. So if we didn't catch this first move off the 30 second, it would be tempting to enter into a short once the two minute went bearish. But as you can see, the overall direction since the market open has been very bullish and it hasn't retraced below the lows. So I would be a little bit cautious on taking shorts until it crossed below these lows again. And price just kind of chops around. So here we have all three time frames lining up. Uh, our two minute is going green, our five minute is already green, and our 30 second had turned green a few candles ago. If we got in when the price changed on the two minute candle, close of this bar right here, 238, up almost 50 points again right there. So shortly after we got a super trend to the downside on the 30 second, but our higher time frames are still green. So if we wait till all three time frames are green, there's a viable entry at 255. And as you can see, price made it up over 100 points. So over here, price keeps hitting this wall up here. And the RSI Heike and Ashley is slowly drifting off, causing some divergence right there. And we also get a reversal signal from the Heike and Ashley RSI in the two minute. So right there, I would be definitely looking to exit if I hadn't already. But basically, you can be putting your stop loss a little bit below this super trend pro line and following it up the whole way. So price had a lot of hesitation in this area, and it did finally break our super trend pro line and print a bearish signal on the 32nd. I would be a little cautious about getting into a trade until we had some more confirmation. And over here, we're still coming up against these same highs, but the RSI Heike and Ashley is definitely sloping downwards at this point. And once we got a red Heike and Ashley candle printed, that would be a potential entry signal up around 346. And then we get a two minute bearish signal uh, just a couple candles later. And that has come down over 70 points as well. And now it's right around noon, lunchtime. I would definitely just be exiting my trade regardless just because of the time of day. If you were trading through the lunch hour though, it definitely did continue south. And then we get a reversal signal on the two minute. And I would be looking to exit for sure if I hadn't already. And also our RSI Heike and Ashi is steadily moving up here and it eventually turns into a bullish trend and goes up a little bit. Another way you can use the solar trend indicator is to use it on correlated instrument charts. So if you like trading the indices, you could load a NASDAQ chart, a ES, a YM, and an RTY all on the same chart and apply the Super Trend Pro to all of them as well as the Heike and Ashi RSI reversal. And as you can see back here, around 11.30, we have the YM turning bearish, but the other correlated markets are still bullish. And then if we wait a few minutes, uh, every single market has turned bearish. That would be a good point to enter. If I was trading the NASDAQ, I could get in right there, put my stop above the Super Trend Pro line, and then we had a great move short and we get a reversal signal on three out of the four charts which would be a definite signal to me to exit before it came back up through this stop line and took me out so that would be a great exit point right there just another way you can use it you could also 
use it with gold and silver and the Australian dollar or if you trade crude oil you could put crude oil in the Canadian dollar just different ways you could trade correlated markets using the same indicator. Mm -hmm.